Uh, he's been here once, did a great job. Glad to have him back. This is Sean Freeland. Yes, Sean. off at the bar to get drunk after her reception ship job at the plant. She trails her other hand across the shoulder of the jukebox, glides her way through the tender button selections of 25 cent memories, pre-retro fashions and glory day passions, back when cigarettes still tasted fresh and her flesh was taught with the lessons taken in the back seat of another discovery. Lost in the soundscapes of back road country and slow summers, War thund warm thunderstorm dances and low-cut grass tickling her feet. She drinks in the past as she shakes her cold ass to tunes she crow croons softly to herself. Between then and when she opens her eyes, she's 19 again and still alive. She crawls out for breakfasts, makes prairie oysters and milkshakes instead of omelets and pancakes. On Saturday mornings, she nurtures her cold cup of coffee over lip-reading lessons learnt from cartoons. And every night, we dro dream alone about the time we will set the house on fire and finally walk away. Artistic process, an act of sex with shadow puppets. Drunk again on rent and groceries, we fumble through the distances more imagined than how we feel. Tentative fingertips peel away labels, fine libation. We see each other, stumble against the wall, whiskey glass smashed. Set shapes of fire we chase across skin in slow burn lures of contours. Through arsonist faces and twisted licks of flames, our unhinged lips savage. Eyes thirsty, fierce with pierced demands and trembled clefts. In flesh, hot ash, we tattoo the space desire leaves behind. Spidery words scrawled by tongue and sinister hands. Unedited mind draw oxygen from the room. Implodes in frozen moments between heaves of breath and wicked grins. We incinerate the night alive with song, molten with truth, more honest than we know what to do with. By the way, I have these really horribly made, like handmade books that if you want to buy them from me after this, totally willing to sell them to you because that feeds me, and that's good. <laughs> also, donate to Phoenix because this is a pretty damn awesome place you guys got going. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Utopia. Drift away days in a diner with endless cups of coffee and too many cigarette words dance poetry across the table. With endless cups of coffee to keep us warm, we sing words, dance poetry across the table, and waitress brings food to keep us warm. We sing with jukebox selections and the waitress brings us food. We've been starving with jukebox selections. Nothing seems to change here. We've been starving for 11 teen days and counting. Nothing seems to change here. We're staving off death with coffee for 11 teen days, counting as we watch our lives slip. We're staving off death with coffee and too many cigarettes as we watch our lives slip drift away days in a diner. Well, like, we'll play a little bit of audience participation here. You guys got any, like, requests for mood or anything like that you want to go for? Happy, sad, crazy? Bipolar. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> One person's listening to me. That's cool. <laughs> um, oh, savage. Um, can I right quick grab my little notebook for this? Sure. Because it's yeah. my crazy poem is somewhere else. Savage, Matt. Pont Sazenorum. 
I've been contemplating conclusions, faith and proof, consequences and endings. With the hypothesis of understanding, I lay the foundations for my undoing. I keep conjugating this insanity improperly into different forms while hoping for the iteration that will bring me back to normal. On little strips of paper, scribbled questions, answers, bits of string, all fumbling for an explanation of where their place should be. The congregation of identity speaks in blasphemies, thinks in tongues, and everything is tautological. It's just the syntax that's wrong. So I await my confirmation, sipping stale bread, nibbling weak tea. But all this incongruence keeps the apotheosis rusty. I've been contemplating processes, structures, structures, functions, and beginnings. With the premise of personality, I try unraveling my decisions. See if I can do this one right again. This is my business card. I am Alfred E. McFinnigan. I'm the inventor of the pop can, a two-time charlatan, night shift ferryman, tour guide to oblivion, survivor of utopian, rat in the garbage can, garpan Z, both a worker and a denizen. I'm a quantum physician, mad queen of moonlit lands, never born in quick skin, stranded alien of salient mindset, linguistic deviant, entropic witness, travelogue digestive, gastronomic anthropologist, part-time ninja with a half bag of tricks. Unhinged idiot, starvation artistic, stark raving writing desk, crow blessed misfit, barker of the freak show, bard to the dethroned, legend of Chauncey, modern day Diogenes, schoolgirl cock tease, dog shaman without a leash. Un the Damn. Oh, I lost it right there. I'm really sorry. A priori entity, untreatable malignancy, prodigal prodigy, curiosity of the usual, spurious, apocryphal, apocryphal apparatic apostle, full-blown, born-again agnostic, paradigm-shifted, aberrant statistic, solipsistic multitude with an attitude problem, a shiny god lost, not found in your TV vitamins, hypothetically non-violent and theoretically misanthropic, slightly off-topic, an ironic metaphor, drunk disciple of Endor, gypsy circus commodore, kind of nervous, used before, autodidactic sofa for, orphan child of ivy, shamrock, thistle, and thorn, lighter shade of a ripple, but colloquially, I'm just known as Fraggle. Thank <laughs> you.